I honestly believe I can say that I have learned a lot of things in life. Yes, I am so young, don't get me wrong. I'm just 20 years old, so I have a long way to go. And to some people, I haven't even gone that far. But with my 20 years here on earth, I can say there are a few things I have learned, although I still have so much more to see and to experience. Let's just talk about 20 things I have learned over the past 20 years, or rather principles I just live by or principles I have learned in life. Three, two, one. Yeah. First things first is stop stressing about making it right now. Like, oh my days. I can't even stress this enough. Sometimes, personally, I tend to forget that my life is not only in my 20s. I tend to forget that I do not have to achieve all my goals in my 20s. We still have our 30s, we still have our 40s. Like, those years are not for us to be sleeping. We will we'll probably even be more productive then. So stop stressing yourself about making it right now and stop comparing yourself with other people. Stop comparing yourself with the people you see on the internet. You really do not even know what's happening in their real life. Because best believe what you're seeing on the internet on the internet is not their real life so you don't know what's happening behind closed doors you do not know how they're making it you do not you don't even know the source of their money you don't know what they have to go through what they have to at what cost they get what they get yeah the only person you are allowed to compare yourself to is your past self literally yeah always keep your morals in check you guys enough with the peer pressure it's better to be seen as worrying than go against your morals, go against what you believe in, go against what you know in right or wrong. Like, do not, because you are hanging out with a group, let's say, for instance, you do not drink, you do not smoke, but then you're hanging out with a group of people that do all those things. Like, you don't have to participate in those activities just to prove that you are a cool person. Like, guy, that thing is not what it's like. Wait, that it's not worth it because it's not just worth it. Like you go against all what you've been taught, all what you know for people that might just be temporary in your life. People that might not even have your back. When things go sideways, they're probably not there for you. Like well, no. This one is for the girlies, the girlies out there. The younger girl is actually never stress over a guy. You are too young to be stressing over a guy like a guy has told me that i think he's just 16 or 17 and she told me that you know she has had like three exes and i was like how old are you again i said like i was saying was she 16 or 17 i can't really remember but i just found that crazy i'm like i'm 20 i've only had one ex and even what made us have that conversation was also because of like a guy she was stressing over and i'm like Bro, you're too young to be stressing over that guy. That time you were using to think about that guy, use that time to work on yourself. Do something, improve yourself, make yourself better. Time is too precious to waste on the wrong people. That heartbreak, girl, wipe those stairs and get up. Get your ass to work, literally. Your older self will thank your younger self for wiping those stairs and standing up on your two feet and getting your ass to work. Just literally focus on your studies and leave that boy alone focus on what you have to focus on your focus and leave that boy alone stay away from friends with funny behavior sincerely speaking you don't even need that much of a friend group be cordial to people be cordial of course be cordial because you do in this town we're living in you need connections so yeah you don't know who is who so be cordial yeah but friendship is a bigger term i think i'm going to do a video on friendship yes i will remind me guys it's a bigger term but not everybody you talk to has to be your friend yeah but just try and be cordial with the people around you learn from other people's mistakes learn from your mistakes obviously but you need to learn from other people's mistakes you do not have to experience everything you get you can always share people's stories learn from their mistake and avoid doing that avoid experiencing the same thing that they experienced and life will be easy that way yeah oh my gosh this one is so important and i i really lacked at this uh, yeah. learn to be financially smart 
you know, save, make good financial decisions, start up a small business. You see this one? Me and this one, we are not really together, but it's something I wish I learned earlier and I'm actually learning to do now. You see this saving stuff, it's so important, like literally. It's so important and I regret why I did not start saving earlier when I was younger. The times when people would just be dashing your money and you're just having money here in school, your parents are just sending you pocket money and all like which leads me to my next point. Um learn a skill. Yeah. Learn a skill, something that you can get small income from. And it's not every day mommy's money, daddy's money, just it's always nice to be financially independent it's always nice to have your own money it's so sexy i don't have my own money yet but like yeah i'm, I'm guessing you <laughs> try not to take things personal you know one thing i've learned is that a lot of people are just very insecure they they really don't like how they are yeah they're really insecure and they try to project their insecurities on other people yeah, so when I see people that are just unnecessarily mean, uh, just unnecessary in general, I just know that they're insecure, they're dealing with something, and they're trying to put on all those negative energy on me also. But I have a very big wall here that is blocking that your negative energy from coming close to me. Learn to love yourself. This is so important. I have been around a lot of people that are very insecure. Um yeah and like these people don't just like themselves they just see so others they just wish they were someone else they wish they were something else bro in someone else's eye you are a queen you're gold you're beautiful like learn to love yourself before you love any other person any other thing you see that person or that thing you're trying to be that you are not yet it as long as you do not love your current self trust me when you get to that stage or that person you're trying to be or when you become that thing you're trying to be you might also not even love that thing because human beings are never satisfied. So you get there, you're like, no, now I want this. So you need to learn to love where you are, what you are now, and then try and work your way to becoming better. Stop trying to fit in places that God doesn't want you to fit in. You do not belong everywhere. You do not belong everywhere. You are not supposed to fit in every single space you find yourself in. And that is okay. That is fine. But sadly, some people do not just understand that. You don't have to fit here. This environment is not my environment. And I'm good with that. You see this one? I am... Oh, me and this one, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm not going to force myself to fit here. I'm not going to force myself to fit in this group because it's not for me and... If it's not for me, I'm not gonna stress it. Simple. Always learn to forgive. I've had a personal experience with this one. And this is me that believes, oh, I'm so forgiving. Oh, my days, I don't keep things in my house. I'm very, I'm a very forgiving person. That's what you will say oh, until you are being tried. And that is when you will see the real tiny evil in you. So I always thought I was the type to forgive. Yeah? And I experienced something with someone that was close to, yeah? And I never expected this thing to happen. And to me personally, this is something I hate. The all forgiving unis and all that is when I realized that I was not even forgiving at all. Like, guy, like, I couldn't forgive this person. We need to know that this all forgiveness is hurting you more than it is hurting that person. And it is stealing your peace way more than it is stealing that person's peace. You are not forgiving because of them it's not that you're forgiving because of yourself so that you can have peace to be at peace that is why we are forgiving when you forg just forget about this person and how you think this person doesn't deserve your forgiveness you are doing it for yourself to be at peace with yourself and also to be right with god because you know the bible tells us that if you do not forgive god will also not forgive you come on think about it we have done we have done a lot of things for god to not be forgiven but yeah, he chose to forgive us. So who are you to not forgive someone else when God has been forgiving you? No matter how much the enemy is trying to make me not forgive them, to make me hate them, I'm going to fight the voice of the enemy and actually forgive this person because that is what is important here. Yeah? And I tried my best. I did that. And one of the one way to know if you have forgiven someone, I don't know if everybody does this, but for me. One way to know is if I can pray for that person and 
you know, I tried praying for the person. At first, it was so hard, but you know, I just ended up doing it. I prayed for this person, and I just ended up messaging them and all. And since that day, I just I was just at peace. Like it was not disturbing me anymore. But that doesn't mean that's where it ended because the thing with the enemy is he doesn't want you to be at peace, yeah. So once in a while, he will just creep that thought into your head just be putting it into your head like hate this person i hate this person but as soon as that you just rebuke that thought in the mighty name of jesus you rebuke it send it back to the pit of hell where it's coming from it's never too late to start and you just start that that's just start literally you see this video i'm doing and the other videos i'm going to be breaking out now you know i have been waiting for the right time to do it and this period i just realized there is no right time to do it i'm done with school now and i'm like you know when i'm done with school i'm going to become more serious with my youtube but then they like i'm gonna start doing what i like on youtube what i actually like which is to talk not like to just talk but like to talk you, you guys will see i like to talk i like to advise people and all yeah i like to speak on relevant topics and things but you know i was like oh let me wait for the right time let me wait till this and that and i just made up my mind there is no right time you start now if it doesn't work now you you learn from the mistake you, the mistakes you made now and you know you put in more pressure you work harder you do things differently but one way or the other just start and stop waiting for the right time there is never a right time always be kind treat people how you want to be treated treat people how you want them to treat you give people the type of respect you want them to give to you like reciprocate like that you know things should be recipro reciprocated i believe energy should be reciprocated so for instance just because you feel like you have more than somebody then you be mean to them you do not know who is going to be for tomorrow and you do not know the situation you will be in tomorrow today you can be here and tomorrow you'll be here you know if you don't know how god works and god will always find a way to humble you literally so always be kind to people always be respectful do not try to be proud or anything just be humble be humble literally always exercise patience you know personally i cannot stand people that are not patient and i'm so sorry i can't i can't because me i am very patient i like to believe i'm very patient just the same way i just like i believe that i was a very forgiving person but then i was trying but with in the case of patience, I've not yet been tried, but I believe I'm a very patient person so far. And I personally just can't stand people that are not patient because why 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 are you rushing to like who is chasing you? Be patient. Shoo, as my dad will always say, take life easy. Don't try to rush life. Just take life easy. Everything is step by step. Always try to be happy. Do not let anyone steal your peace. Do not give the enemy room to come and steal your peace. Be happy no matter what. You see me? Aha, I'm learning this one. No matter what I'm going through, I'm going to be happy. Even if it's not what I it's not the situation I see myself in, but I'm not just going to be sad. I'm not going to complain. You see this bread that Jesus Christ has given me? I am not going to use it to complain. I am not going to use it to nag. I'm going to be a happy person and I'm going to use it to pray safe meal. And you should definitely do the same yeah last but not the least and this is the most important point which is to which is to plug onto jesus plug into jesus plug onto jesus i don't know which one it is but yeah like whichever one is the correct english but you get what i'm saying like i don't know how people do this life thing without jesus without even a sprinkle of jesus but no a sprinkle is not enough in this time and day we are in. like we need a whole full fountain of jesus in our life so yeah you can't do this life thing with jesus no matter what no matter how good you think your life is going is happening yeah is going through how good you think your life is moving there's always a part of you that is always still going to hunger and thirst for him you know there's sometimes you find yourself restless you find yourself hungry you want something but you don't just know what you want trust me it's jesus you want he's trying to call you back but you're not seeing it you're not seeing it but he's calling you so he sent me to tell you that he's calling you so yeah please answer this call and yeah that is the most important thing amongst every other thing i have said that is the most important thing so, so with all that being said we have come to the end of this video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video on my channel now you guys are going to start seeing new videos 
I posted on the vlog because that is not really my favorite thing to do. As I said, I'm going to start doing what I like doing the most, which is to talk, to advise people, uh -huh. to just talk about things, hacking around us and some type of topics here, yeah, which you guys are going to start seeing on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell so you can get notified every time I drop a new video. You guys stay with me. We are going on a whole new journey. A whole new world right now. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for sticking with me too this time. Bye.